want to thank everybody again for joining us here on our Conference USA <coughs> Conference uh, as we go into our final hour of it. We've got four more universities that will join us here the rest of this hour. We're going to start off uh, in Dallas at SMU where head coach Jim Jones is entering his second season. He is joined by senior wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders. The Mustangs had the youngest team in the nation last season. They have 15 other starters in addition to the record set of Emmanuel Sanders this season. Uh, Coach Jones, uh, just your opening thoughts on the season and how much you're looking forward to having a lot of guys who've already played for you coming back this year. Well, it's been uh, uh, productive, as uh, everybody will say, I'm sure, uh, today, offseason. We feel like we've got the things in place that we needed to, uh, to get in place. The kids have worked real hard this summer. Uh, we've, the freshmen have been here since uh, June 30th, so they're starting to get a little feel for what we're about. But uh, I think these last 30 days, waiting right up till August 7th, is always the hardest time because you kind of want to get going. One of those freshmen coaches started last year was your quarterback, Bo Levi Mitchell. Uh, what did you think of his progression as the season went on and his progression since then through the offseason? Well, we were probably not fair to him to throw him into the situation he was in, but we kind of knew that that's what we had to do. Uh, you know, he came from a high school that just never even lined up in four wideouts. He'd never been in a shotgun formation before. Uh, threw the ball, you know, 10 to 15 times a game, and now we're asking him to throw it as much as we fire it and uh, see coverages, and, and, you know, he's feeling his way while the receivers are learning uh, what they're doing. and. You know, so for him, he got better as the season went on, and then he had a little setback when he hurt his shoulder. He had a productive spring, and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, this offseason he's, uh, you know, uh, worked real hard. And, and uh, I think uh, we have a young uh, freshman coming in, too, that uh, we, we really like and think is an accurate passer, and, and uh, the competition will be good. Did you have everything in your offense package in for Bo last year as a freshman, or do you have more things you're adding for in this season? Well, we pretty pretty much uh, put everything in, but every year you add a little. If you're not kind of, you know, tweaking at 12 to 18 percent somewhere every year, you know, the defenses are doing that on the other side of the ball, so you always have to stay a little bit ahead. And you are joined there uh, on your right by Emmanuel Sanders, the senior wide receiver. Emmanuel, you're the first player in SMU history with three 600-yard receiving seasons. How much are you looking forward to getting to that 1,000-yard mark this season? I'm definitely looking forward to it. I mean, that's been as a receiver's uh, goal is to get 1,000 yards. And uh, I have yet to get there, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting there. I'll put the time in, put the work in, and hopefully it all pays off. All right, we're going to bring in Grant Watson now from uh, ESPN with a uh, coach a question for head coach Jim Jones. Hey, coach, how are you doing? Good. Okay. Uh, I was wondering, when you took on the uh, at SMU, did you, did you know what kind of battle you were going up against in terms of turning the program around? And after a year, how do you feel like you're progressing? Are you about on track to where you want to be? Well, um... You know, to answer your first part of that question, it, it is what I knew it would be. Uh, I've been in this situation probably five or six times uh, throughout my career, and, and they're all kind of the same but different. Uh, this one, uh, I felt like last year before the season started, we had an opportunity. I felt uh, that we probably went four or five games, uh, and then I kind of, you know, said if we win four or five, it might lead to – one or two more, because that's kind of what happens in football. You start to get confidence, start to get going. I think uh, what I underestimated was that the the, uh, the the ability to make the play when you have to make it in the competitiveness of the game, we just didn't, uh, you know, we're asking, like like uh, Richard said earlier, they're a young quarterback to make some decisions to do those things, and, and we didn't have enough help probably in, in the areas that we needed to, to, to make those plays, uh, both offensively and defensively. Uh, you know, I feel like we've addressed that. Uh, I feel like the kids believe in, they're starting to understand and, and have fun. I mean, the one thing I noticed coming in here uh, that, that it, it wasn't fun for the guys, and, and uh, that took a little while to get going. I think they understand now what we're about as coaches, what we expect. And we're not going to change, and uh, we're all in this thing together, and that, that's what you got to do. And, and real quick for Emmanuel, how do you like playing on both sides of the ball? Uh, you know, I, 
I like it a lot. I've yet to play on the defensive side of the ball yet, so I'm looking forward to that this season. But on the offensive side, playing in Coach Jones offense is definitely a receiver's dream because you get to catch a lot of balls in this system. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Graham. Yeah, expand on that a little bit if you could, Emmanuel. How much, and maybe Coach Jones as well, how much uh, will we see Emmanuel playing on the defensive side? What kind of role are you going to play over there? Well, we were in some situations last year where, uh, you know, we had some young kids uh, in, the, in those situations that we talked about earlier that we had to have make a play. And uh, we had really put some kids in some tough situations, playing a lot of young guys, a couple guys that had never even played corner before. And as I looked through the season, there were probably two or three plays that I know if Emmanuel had been over there, he'd have made it, you know, he'd made an interception and just, he'd, he'd, he'd have got the ball somehow. And, uh, so I just wasn't going to allow ourselves to be in that situation again in certain times. And then he's going to play offense, but as we get through uh, uh, training camp, we have a lot of uh, young kids coming in again that we think are pretty talented uh, in the secondary. We'll make that evaluation, and then if uh, need be, uh, when we have to make a play, I know Emmanuel's going to step up and make a play. And, and uh, uh, that's, that's why we, we did what we did in the spring. Uh, Brought your change in defensively to a three-four. Tell us a little bit about why you're making the change and some of the guys you're looking to step up in that three-four this year. Well, basically, I mean, I think that's more uh, media kind of hype than anything out of it. We, we probably played more three-four or three-three stuff last year than even uh, uh, anybody would realize. Uh, uh, when we go through the cutoffs, we were in it pretty much all the time anyway. Uh, we kind of felt like. Uh, our personnel, you know, we're asking Yuri Yanga, who I think is a phenomenal uh, defensive player, uh, to play with his hand down against guys that are, you know, uh, outweigh him 200 pounds, uh, uh, 150 pounds. And, and so we felt like if we, uh, you know, got him in the same schemes on the same different things, we felt like we had some edge guys that, that would be advantageous to our personnel to play more like we played late in the year with the with the, the three down front. We also think we have uh, four, we really think we got six or eight defensive linemen, uh, so we will have, continue to have a four-man package also, uh, uh, but at the same time, we're running the same schemes just out of a little different look up front. You bragged a lot uh, during the uh, signing day about your new defensive end, Marcus Hunt. A guy who is pretty new to football. What, what did you think of him through spring drills, and what do you expect coming from him in two days and into the season? Well, he, he uh, he's a world class athlete, and uh, you know anybody that competes at that level, at the highest level in in uh, track, they know what it takes to be the best. I mean, he's a hard worker. He's very conscientious. He's smart. Uh, I mean, I, I just think he's got only upside to him. I mean, I, I, I'll be surprised if after uh, four years he's not drafted in the first two rounds. Uh, uh, you know, he can run, he's got long arms, he's, you know, 285 pounds, six foot seven. I mean, he, he's a special athlete. He'll, he'll get uh, some time. He did good the 15 days we had him in spring. He learned a lot. Uh, he's anxious to get back here. Uh, he's coming back, I think, this week from uh, Europe. And, uh, and he'll be in shape. I'm not worried about him. He, he's that kind of athlete. Speaking of being in shape, Emmanuel, so now you're going to play some defense uh, on offense. You, you guys are, it's almost the same four receivers every snap. Not many five yard outs you're running. What do you do conditioning wise, and how much different have you had to do your conditioning to be ready to play in uh, Coach Jones' offense? Uh, Vic Valoria's program is, is, it fits Coach Jones' offense very well. I mean, last year we ran, uh, last summer we ran probably two to three times a day, but uh, this summer we're running every day, and I mean it's it's long missing stuff. So that's gonna get the whole team in shape and, and have the receivers uh, well conditioned. Jim, you guys played as we talked about earlier. So many freshmen last season. You had a full year now to recruit get in there this season. Do you expect a lot more out of a freshman class this year to contribute right away? Well, I think we have some really good players, and they're going to have to contribute uh, both as backups, and some of them will compete for starting positions also. Uh, we think we have a talented group. We, we increased our team speed, I think, and I think Emmanuel will probably echo that, just being out 7-on-7, seven seven, watching some of the linebackers and some of the guys running around. 
Um, you know, I, I the one thing that I know, uh, if they don't start for us, they're going to be on the field and it'll and improve our special team play. And, it's, and whenever you increase your team speed, it helps you a whole bunch of ways. And I think we've done that. Hey, Coach Jim Jones, wide receiver Emmanuel Sanders. Thanks for joining us today. Good luck to you guys this season. And maybe I'll come over and see you guys at SMU here pretty soon. Uh, uh, it's not really